So what are we doing today, Dad? Um, I don't know, brushed me here. Um, it's a big day, sir. I'm gonna turn it into a dream machine for somebody. So we're working on a 2012 T5 long wheelbase. One, uh, 180. Combi. Oh, it's a 180 brake horsepower. Combi. She's a beast. Yeah. Um, and it's not a full conversion or anything like that. It's just uh, electrics and that's it really isn't it? Putting some electrics here. Yeah, sockets for USBs and 12 volt sockets to power a compressor refrigerator. Uh, a small compressor pump for bike tyres because it's used as a, basically a bike team bus. And it's very orange isn't it? And it's a blue with orange. Mm. He likes his orange. Or orange with blue. Um, yeah, so domestic battery, charger, shore power with AC yeah. sockets, LED sockets. In the roof, uh, big fluorescent on the tailgates that can be used as a shelter and a workshop, effectively, when the tailgates open. And that's the plan. So the battery's going to sit in here, and then all we've done is found a, a bolt already going through the floor just there that was already in that's VW installed put a d-ring d-ring on it just drilled out this hole here in the frame it's already a hole there we just made it a bit bigger and then this strap will just go through the hole like that over the top of the battery and then the strap Goes around the D-ring into the ratchet strap and then we've got the battery nice and secure in there. Are we putting any other back brackets in as well? There's a bracket going in here for a um, for the VSR relay and the, fu the fuses for the cables to and from the batteries. And we're going to get one of the existing brackets for this module which will sit up in the side here or probably under there actually. Put anything else holding the battery in? Because we did talk about one going over there, didn't we? No, I think we're secured. It can't go, it can't move from where it is. Um, in the frame of here. Okay, the battery's actually sized for this application. Boom. So I've just removed the boxing around the wheel arch um, and taken this ply off. So we need to get uh, an AC cable down through here. Um, and then I've removed some of the bumper bolts. And then there's a, a vent in here where the AC cable will pop out. I'll then go under the vehicle and the shore supply power shore power cable is just going to be mounted under here. So yeah, that's the AC cable there. It's going to come. That's effectively going to be wired into that. And that goes. Through the van, pops out on the outside here. That cable will tap under there. Under the bumper. And then we'll wire that up to the shore supply, which I'm gonna mount under there somewhere. Okay, so we've just mounted a USB socket in the side. Not sorry, a 12 volt socket in the side of the uh, driver's seat frame. So the 12 volt cool box will go in here between the seats and then it'll plug in into that socket which is just mounted there. Batteries in there. Stopping and taking a time out as we've had a bit of a accident and injury. And also, more importantly, we're having a coffee. So this is this is why you want to get your electric sorted in your camper van so that you can run an espresso machine. Very important. Just threaded the cable through the first time it's going up in the tailgate through here. I'm just trying to get it through the Gator going into the vehicle. So I don't want to drill any holes or anything, so we use the existing 
Just threading a, a cable through a mouse. Pull through there because you can't push the cable through, so you've got to pull it through. So, what are we using? A uh, coat hanger, part of a coat hanger? Classic, yeah. It's just going through that. I mean, what do you call that? Uh, gator. Gator. And then into the vehicle and then to the existing looms. Uh, the fuel supply is now on. So. It's a little bit clunky, but it works. So. The LED light in the tailgate is in. Um, and we're just wiring up the, what's this thing called, Dad? RCD? Yeah, uh, RCD, earth leakage protector, and the AC breaker to protect the socket. AC breaker <clears throat> for the AC socket. So we're just wiring that up now. Here's our charger. Um, yeah. Coming along nicely. So, just re insulated the roof, removing all this house type insulation and install proper van insulation. What's the, what's the word for it? Non absorbent? Non hydroscopic. Non hydroscopic. That's what that is. Whereas the house insulation absorbs. Since this is an aluminium vehicle, you get a fair amount of condensation and therefore you'll have soggy insulation if you use house stuff. Which is why we've used the legit stuff. So this is what's fueling us today. Mew Moo Free Organic Cheeky Orange Egg Dairy Free Gluten Free Soya Free No GM Vegan Chocolate Yum. Whoever makes Moo Free chocolate. It's bloody good. It's bloody good. And if you want to sponsor me by supplying me with a lifetime supply of chocolate in exchange for plugging you on my channel, that would be absolutely fine with me.